Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are here again with another ROM review. Today, I bring you ROM Barbanko 8 year ROM. This ROM, very delicious. I have kind of stayed away from ROM agricoles for a while. Couldn't really find it. Heard about Haitian ROM. Know that's a ROM agricole. I just have not. I don't know. I, I, I have so many different ROMs have came up. And I'm like, I'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get the Bourbon Court 15 year. I'll get it. And then finally, I got the Bourbon Court 8 year ROM. Now, the 8 year ROM is delicious. For 26 bucks here in Florida, I get such a delicious rum. This one here, once I got it, I was like, man, this is gonna be my go-to rum for mixing, my go-to rum for just like an average day sipping, like nothing special, but nothing that's like, mm, why am I doing this, you know? Uh, so this has been a great rum, and we're gonna get into the reviews. Bourbon Core Rum is from Haiti. Haiti is a French Caribbean island, and therefore there has French influences. So this is a French style rum. We, which we call a rum agricole. Now, a French style rum uses fresh cane juice. They don't use the molasses that everyone else in the Caribbean uses. They use fresh cane juice. So they cut it from the field straight to the factory and they start the ball rolling. So, uh, from Bourbon Core and the Bourbon Core company, what they use is a double distillation blend. And I don't know what is so special about this double distillation. But compared to the other rum agricoles I've had, this rum, it is way lighter on the the, 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 the kind of uh, vegetal, I kind of associate it with a, a type of medicine-y kind of tea kind of smell that, honestly, I'm not a too big a fan of. But with Bourbon Core, it is so much lighter. It is so much more subtle. Uh, you know, it's almost like the oak and that kind of shine together. Whereas in other ones I've had, other rum agricoles I've had, it kind of, that, that vegetal flavor stands out a lot more. So honestly, it's kind of like the gin of rum in, in my mind. That's how I see it. I've, I don't know if anyone else think, thinks that way, but that's how I see it. It's kind of like you get that vegetal tone to it and it's, you know, it's a bit more. But we're going to get into this. We're going to get into some tastings. We're going to get into why rum bourbon core, eight year rum, it is the best bargain you could get to me for $26. Okay, so let's start with the pour of the bourbon core rum, eight year. So, see, golden color, right? Let's stir it around a little bit. See the develops in the legs. Yep, seen some legs developing, some legs on the side there. It really tells you that this is a good age rum, it's not an artificial rum. Some people would say it's eight years, it's not really eight years, that kind of stuff. So this is a good way to really know if you get a good quality product, right? Eggs are the, the legs are developing here, and the golden color is really nice. So again, with this color here on an eight year rum, you can see that it's honest, right? This rum hasn't been colored added color and stuff like that you know a lot of whiskey drinkers that's important to them so this is just a good old rum really delicious well i can't say it's delicious as yet but i can tell you this is this rum is halfway down so it's delicious but um yeah it's just it's it got a nice color to it, it has some nice legs to it and hasn't been tampered with this is the great stuff of haiti let's start with the nose Mm. Get a vegetal, vegetal smell, some oak smells. You get that key in taste, you get that vegetal taste. Um, really good, long burn, you get a burn definitely. You know, but a really unique flavored rum. You know, um, as a guy that sips, you know, the burn might be a bit much. So maybe you go for the 15 year, but this eight year, you could definitely just sip it like this. This is good. Very decent rum. Honestly, it's one of my favorite ag rum agricoles. I've only had a few. However, I feel like with the others, 
um, they kind of show a lot more the vegetal note somehow um, at Bab and Core, that vegetal tone is kind of reduced and you get a bit more of that aged and it's a really good rum of 26 bucks can't beat it okay so one thing i like to do is to go on and see what the experts say now i'm a uh, budding and i'm growing in my tasting notes and my proficiency and recognizing them however i like to see what you know those who are more aged and more seasoned in this industry would like to see so from some of the reviews online on the on Flavia and other experts, what we see is that they say you're supposed to get some fruit flavors, um, you get some chocolate, you get some tropical fruits, slightly sweet, not peach, apricot, and wood, um, and some smoke as well. Now, I did get the sweet, um, I did get the fruits. I think that's what I recognize as the cane juice, right? Um, I did get the oak, which I guess they call woody right um nutty and chocolate i don't think i really got hmm. I don't know. I don't get the chocolate. I don't get the sweet. Um, don't think I got. I don't know what. Honestly, I'm not sure what apricots or peach flavor they're talking about. But I do get some fruitiness. I do get some wood. Um, smoke. Mm, maybe. Maybe. Um, but chocolate. I eat a lot of chocolate. I don't get. I eat dark chocolate mainly, but I definitely don't get that. But you know that's what the experts are saying um i didn't get it i didn't pick up on that uh, but ev everyone who tastes rum you know sometimes they pick up on different things my wife is excellent at picking up a tasting notes so maybe she'll try it and let me know if she gets the, the peach apricot and the chocolate flavors however um back to the most important part did i enjoy it yes i did would i buy it again yes i would price is amazing um you know as a rum agricole to me it's one of the best i've had i want to try some more and i'll let you know like exactly which one is good to have right uh, continue following like comment subscribe let me know how you like the rum bar call let me know if you think about it based on this review uh you know just let's talk let's communicate and let's continue tasting these final spirits. So I'm going to continue dropping these reviews every week, at least one, maybe two. I got a lot here to, you know, to keep on sipping on. So why not? Why not present to you and all the great people out there on the internet about fine rums made around the world? Cheers. Until next time.